some YouTube commenters suggested that I rotate the axle 45 degrees so that two of the spokes touch the bed. And previously I tried a batch of five and only one printed before the second one lifted off the bed. Then I got two to print. I increased the bed from 80C to 85C. I think that might have helped. My bed might have also been a little dusty, I'm not sure. But it always fails on the near end where the nozzle first starts extruding onto the bed. And I think it's because the two arms, the two spokes, uh, the nozzle has to retract extrusion to go from one to the other. And I think that affects the adhering to the bed. So we'll see how it goes on the next spoke after this one prints. You can kind of see right at the front, right there at the bottom, it's lifting up a little, but it didn't seem to have an effect. This one's almost done. We'll see how the second one goes, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See if I can move the camera closer. It seems like the first layer line, I don't know, it didn't extrude a whole lot. I don't think it's because my bed's out of level. I did 18 point by 18, 18 by 18 auto leveling. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, so here we go. So watch, I don't know why it waits in between uh, one at a time printing on Cura Slicer. It waits and it extrudes, I guess, to get a good extrusion going, but man, look at all that gunk that's a potential to crash into your model. So it's going to do the skirt first. The skirts always seem to adhere better than the prints, I guess because it's always extruding and not retracting. Okay, so here it goes. So the first layer on this side, it never seems to stick very well. So those are the two spokes. They're laid down diagonally, like that other one over there. And then by the third layer line, it seems to adhere, but sometimes it lifts up in that gunk at the front right here. See that stuff? Oh, see, it already started messing up. See, it's peeling up. Yeah, that's not going to make it. I think when it has to go from one spoke to the other, the retraction extrusion just kind of messes it up. So actually ro rotating, not rotating the axle and just printing it straight on a 90 degree axle point seems to do better. The overhangs don't seem to be much of a problem, but uh, skipping from one spoke to the other seems to cause more adhesion problems. Well, I'm gonna stop this print. It looks a little warped. No, oh, there. I don't know. Maybe it's pushing it back down. Uh, should I let it go? I guess I'll let it go. See what happens. See if it can adhere back onto the bed somehow. I doubt it. Maybe I noticed some of the files, the axles were... Oh, nope. There it goes. Some of the files, the axles were printed a little bit long, and I'm thinking maybe they'd decided to cut them off on the ends where it was warped.